Well, back in 1963, President John F. Kennedy toured the West to promote environmental conservation. And today is actually the anniversary of President Kennedy's stop right here in Billings. Q2's Krista Rose gives us a look back with help from Q2's Jay Cohn, who was there with his sixth grade classmates. John F. Kennedy was one of America's most popular presidents. And in 1963, he set off from Washington on a five-day tour of the West to promote conservation and the efficient use of our country's natural resources. He would stop in places like Cheyenne and Tacoma, Salt Lake City, and Las Vegas. But on September 25th, Kennedy became the first president to visit Billings since Woodrow Wilson. Billings, Montana. The crowd at the airport is large for a city of only 53,000. But that's over 100,000 hands. Q2's Jay Cohn was there. Not as a reporter, but as an excited sixth grader. Well, I was in the grandstands at the Yellowstone County Fairgrounds where they had bussed us from the Highland School down to see President Kennedy speak. My first chance to ever see a president uh, in person. I remember uh, the excitement. It was a big deal. And while his trip was aimed at promoting conservation, Jay doesn't recall the 15-minute speech having much to do with that. You know, it wasn't that far removed from the Cuban Missile Crisis, so one of his topics was the Nuclear Test Ban Treaty, which was like, Phew! we were in the, I had no idea what he was talking about, but it was just cool to be there and watch it. And, and though the Test Ban Treaty may not have inspired excitement in a young sixth grader, Kennedy, always the fan of literature, ended his speech in Billings with soaring rhetoric by quoting author Henry David Thoreau. East would I go only by force. West would I go free. I must walk towards Oregon and not towards Europe. I walk towards Montana. I express my thanks to all of you. Jay was with about 17,000 other Montanans applauding Kennedy's speech. And an equally large crowd showed up in Great Falls the next day to watch Kennedy not only give a speech at Great Falls High Memorial Stadium, but to make a house call. En route to his speaking engagement, President Kennedy stops for a brief visit with the father of the Senate Majority Leader, Senator Mike Mansfield of Montana. And then, of course, two months later, he was assassinated, and then that really hit home, and that was, you know, that solidified those memories forever, and to this day, that's what I remember. But Jay is one of the lucky ones. He has a unique keepsake from Kennedy's visit, passed down to him by his father. Uh, after his visit here, my dad gave me this tie clasp. It's a Kennedy PT-109 tie clasp, but I think uh, they gave out as uh, a memorabilia of his uh, visit to Billings. And uh, I, I see where it was, it's really a, a hot topic for uh, memorabilia and collectors around the country, but I've always had it in my tie clasp drawer. And uh, whenever we're doing stories about the Kennedy visit, I, I bring it out, it's pretty cool. It's an, for me, uh, it's a great memory, memory of that day. Reporting in Billings with Jay Cohn, Chris DeRose, MTN News. And a very special thank you to Jay for sharing his memories and a big thank you to the John F. Kennedy Presidential Library and Museum for giving us the video and photos for the story.